What's up? This your girl, Silent Angel. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, new single out right now, GTB, GTP. is out everywhere on all major music platforms. Make sure y'all go get that. And make sure you check out my music video on my page as well. Back on the top, great. Back on the top, great. Yeah, trying to get to the bag. I really wasn't, I'm not going to say I really wasn't into music, um, but music wasn't uh, my passion before all of this happened. I would have to say my first love will always be basketball. Um, I played my whole life. Um, I've been playing basketball probably since at the age of two. Um, I used to always play with the boys, um, always played co-ed teams, always made me tough. Um, and swore I was going to the WNBA, you know, nobody could stop me. Um, and then swore I was going to play overseas and take over all this other stuff. But you, you know how you be having them childhood dreams and everything, so. But, um, yeah, then life hit. Um, you know, it's, it's very, once you get older, um, basketball becomes very different. People try to change who you are. Um, change how you how you run the run the court, um, how you might run the plays. Um, so, you know, I felt like I was in my head a lot um, at times. So, you know, then I actually had, you know, a chance to to actually try to, you know, uh, get on a team overseas. But I don't know, you know, what kind of scammer, you know, stuff was going on there. So, I don't know. But all in all, I just feel like God is – was trying to tell me all along, like maybe that's, that wasn't the way for me to go. So, um, you know, I always was a writer, um, but you know, I fell off for a little while. I just started, you know, working, started trying to find out who I was without basketball and things like that. It was, it was a very difficult transition for me um, because I was used to eating, breathing, living basketball. So um, when that, when that kind of shifts and changes, you know, that kind of changes your personality and things like that. So. I had to say part of the inspiration um, definitely came from a, a good friend of mine that I ran into when I used to work at. Um, we used to work at the same job together. And, um, you know, we always talked about how I wanted him to, yeah, you know, do a photo shoot, shoot this, shoot that. You know, we would link up here and there. But it was just like, it was one particular time we linked up. We, you know, it was just a couple of us. We had like a little writing team. We was all together just chilling. And I don't know, they was just playing beats. And, you know, we was all bouncing ideas off of each other and everything like that. And it was just like, my homie Quan told me to get behind the mic, right? I had never stepped foot inside a studio, never recorded no type of music before in my life, never did nothing like that. So when he told me that, I was a little intimidated, but I don't know, it was just something about the people that I was around that made me kind of feel a little comfortable. And I wanted to actually hear their feedback and, you know, where I could do this different or what I could say, you know, how I could say this to make it sound better. So when you got people around you like that, it was like, it was, it, it's, I don't know, it just inspired you even more to want to just do it, so. That's part of the inspiration. And I mean, of course, the pain, the pain from not being able to pick up a basketball every day like I was before um, and just say, oh, this is my life. My life was uh, a lot of different things. I went from a whole bunch of different jobs and do a whole bunch of stuff trying to figure out me after basketball. And it was just, I don't know, it was just very difficult. So dealing with that pain and then having people like that around me to where I could get it out and express it in you know a positive way. It's just like, I don't know, that, I don't know, that's just an incredible, you know, feeling to have. And that's, a, that's an incredible group of people to have in your life. So.
Um, some of the people that inspire me, uh, if you know me, then you know that I love Chris Brown. Um, I just think he's a dope person. Um, he's he's multi-talented. Like he can, it's like, what can he do? Um, so if he doesn't inspire you in any one of them areas, then, then I don't know. Um, a couple other people I had to say is J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. Um, of course, if you want to go back, I had to say Tupac. Um, you know, all the... All the greats, and, and you know, a recent, a recent, uh, one of my, I had to say, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Um, and the reason why I throw him in there, no, I'm not trying to get no clout, so I'm not about that. Um, but he was just an artist that he had, he had music for like any struggle, like, um, it didn't matter if he was in the gang life, it didn't matter if you had a regular job, uh, it didn't matter if he was, you know, going to school, uh, it, it was like whatever your grind was, you know, like just stick to your script and, you know, just just play it right and, and, and you'll be good. Um, so that inspired me to, you know, want to be a better artist. But I already sort of kind of knew about Nip, um, which is the reason why I I really do want to try my best to stay an independent artist. Uh, I definitely want to go that route and stay independent. Um, but I also feel like um, there's not a lot of support uh, for independent artists and a lot of times when people ask me about support um, I'm not going to say I don't care about it but you know I just feel like people act like they want to support you just in case um, you make it you got you got those two people that you know hang on to you because they think you know they can get certain opportunities out of you so it, it's, it's kind of hard to you know find those genuine people who really do support you um and who really do have your back because you got to be able to trust, you really got to be able to trust people with your life um, in this industry because you're investing in yourself and you want to be able to make the right moves um, to be successful because, you know, you could, you know, a situation could definitely get you to fall back down, you know, start all the way back over. But, you know, you definitely want to make sure you have a strong team, but at the same time, um, it's, it's hard to find a team. Uh, that'll help you get everything together. Um, so I'm just thankful for certain people that I have in my life that help me put things into play when I need them um, at the right time. Like, I, you know, me personally, I always, I didn't grow up um, in the hood, uh, per se, but, you know, I knew of, you know, both particular people. And, you know, it was always some type of judgment placed. I felt it was always some type of judgment placed on myself because um, of where I lived and where I came from and things like that. But, you know, what people got to understand is this ain't mine. Um, I live at home. I'm not, you know, ashamed to say that. Um, but, you know, I feel like when people look at my life, they, they, they try to say that. Or they try to put a certain stigma on it and say that, you know, I didn't struggle or my struggle wasn't hard enough or, you know, but me personally, I just feel like if you're going through a struggle, you're going through a struggle. No struggle is greater than the next. Um, if somebody is struggling with something, they're struggling. Because at the end of the day, I still had sleepless nights. I still had, you know, some nights where I didn't eat, you know, before I went to sleep. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, I just feel like, you know, we we all struggle. And if we, the, the goal is to come together. It's not to judge each other based off of a struggle. The goal is to come together and, you know, be able to overcome those struggles uh, as a unit. So I feel like once we stop, you know, judging each other and putting, you know, people in certain categories, um, you know, then I feel like, Maybe maybe people will have a better understanding of each other, um, you know. So that's just how I feel about the thing, you know. Um, I just I don't know. I just feel like people always always thought I didn't struggle um, because I guess what I had around me, but you know, I did struggle. I struggled with a lot of things mentally that I feel like a lot of people couldn't. Um, that term, you can't walk a mile in my shoes, is 
it's a true statement because we don't know what you know each other has been through. So I just feel like you can't really you know judge somebody you know based off of what you don't know. So, so but then I also had to realize I can't put my all out there for a certain crowd that I think that you know don't support me like I can't go broke you know for people I can't lose certain things for people I don't know for people that you know don't genuinely support not saying that if they did I would lose all those things but because that would just be kind of ridiculous but um I just feel like I had to take a step back um I was it was getting to a point where I was running myself rampant like I was stretching out, working seven days a week, not sleeping, not eating sometimes, not really eating food, just running off for snacks. Like, I, I mean, I don't know. My life was just always on the go. So I just had to really slow down, like, and just take a deep breath, recuperate. And now I'm in a spot where I'm I'm grateful. Like, I show gratitude every day because I could be right back in that same situation that I was in. And I just thank God that I saw the light and I got out and you know I did what I had to do to overcome a lot of my struggles back then because boy was I struggling um with a lot and you know I know a lot of people battle depression um you know I was I could probably say you know I went through that for about three months three months not probably I can say um I, I was surprised I was depressed for about three months just not knowing what direction to take. Um, not knowing how to get my feet to move. Uh, not knowing how to speak things into existence. Mm -hmm. um, I had to learn those things. And it was like, once I learned them things, I had to, I don't know, it just it just led my feet. Like So, you know, I, I walked away from certain things that didn't, didn't help me grow anymore. Um, you know, so. I had to say that's that's probably why I took a break. Um, it's crazy because I really was. I'm not gonna say I was never a spiritual person because I always, you know, believed in higher power. But like the older I got, the more spiritual I became, and it was like the more spiritual I became, the more blessings that came. And I don't know. It's just now I'm I'm just thankful for everything. Like I don't know. It's it's crazy. I mean, it might sound crazy to some, but it don't sound crazy to me. But I just, I don't know. I'm thankful for everything that's happening in my life right now. And I'm just thankful that I'm not where I was. Like, and I'm thankful I didn't give up because it was so many times where I wanted to quit. Like, I mean, I was, I was unemployed for like three months. Like, didn't know what to do. Didn't know how I was going to eat. Didn't know where my income was going to come from thinking I was going to lose this and that, like, but I still have what I thought I was going to lose, like, and I don't know, I don't know who looking out for me, but somebody is, and I mean, I'm just, I'm just thankful every day of that, like, I'm thankful to wake up every day, I'm thankful to, to be able to, to have a little bit of money in my pocket, because a dollar is a hundred dollars to me, I don't care, like, I just, I don't know, I just be, I just be thankful to be here, like, breathing don't nothing even gotta happen i just i just want to be here be able to see the trees be able to watch tv you know what i mean like stuff like that because it's, it's just certain things that people take for granted like just making it home is a blessing to me like i don't know i don't know man it's just now nowadays i'm i'm happier and i'm just trying to i'm just trying to grow and be mentally healthy that's all it's your girl, Silent Angel, signing out. You can follow me on Instagram at DE Artist, Silent Angel underscore. Um, you can find my new single, GTB, GTP, available everywhere. You can also get my other single, Sipping on You, that's available everywhere as well on all major platforms um, iTunes, Spotify, all that good stuff. Um, just make sure, again, you subscribe to my YouTube page. And let's get them streams and downloads up and get them views up on my YouTube page on my new video for my single GTB, GTP. Once again, that's available everywhere on all major music platforms. I know.